Hello everybody, welcome back to Learn with Lodha. As myself Sumit Lodha and in this tutorial, we will learn how to download TDS justification report from Traces. As you all are aware that once you file your ETDS return and it is uh, it gets processed at CPC Bangalore, then the CPC will send you one uh, notice or one some default statement which will show the defaults or mistakes in your ETDS data. But that particular notice or default will uh, will have the summary of all the mistakes and the total amounts it will show. But how this particular amount has come? So we need to have a breakup of that particular default uh, statement. So TDS traces will provide you one justification report which can be downloaded in Excel format from traces. So let's see how to download this particular file justification report. Once you will download this file from traces, you need to extract it. Then you have to convert it through the utility available on the traces website. So here we go. First we go to Google again and type TDS CPC. And here is the first link for traces login tdscpc.gov.in. This is the website. Again, I am repeating www.tdscpc.gov.in. Click on this link and this will take you to the home page of TDSCPC site that is traces website. Click on continue and go to login. Here you need to log in with your credentials uh, in this column. You need to put your user ID and password and your TAN number or TAN number whatever applicable. Uh, here you can see I have put my user ID, password, TAN number and the verification code you need to type over here and click on login. Once you will click on that, now you are into the login of traces and you can see there are different options, the dashboard, statements, uh, payments, defaults, communication, downloads and profile. For justification report, again you need to put a request or send a request to the traces website and then after one hour or two hours that uh, file will be available for download, uh, downloading. So here are the two links, directly you can go from here, request for justification report download or you can go to default and in default third option you can go to request for the recipient report download. Once you will click on that, there are the options for which financial year you wish to download your justification report. You need to select that financial year. In my case it's 1314. I select 1314. Q2, quarter two return. I have got the notice and I need the justification report of that particular quarter and the most important is 26Q, 24Q, salary, non-salary or TDS, TCS, what kind of uh, return form uh, you have filled in which the default has come. So you need to select that form type also. Then click on go. Once you will click on that, again here it will ask for the authentication code. If you have the authentication code of that particular day, you can use it and just directly type that uh, authentication code over here and proceed with the authentication code but if you don't have the authentication code for that day then you need to generate it you go to this column if you don't have the authentication code these three columns will automatically come once we have selected in the last um, page that 26 q 1314 and q2 now you need to put your token number that is your Provisional receipt number, a 15 digit number you will see on your provisional receipt number that will appear. That number you need to put over here. Again, part 1 and part 2, these are more important. Challenge identification details or transfer voucher details as quoted in the above statement. Okay, any uh, first let us understand these two uh, check boxes. First is please select if you have only nil chalan challenge with zero challenge amount in the statement it is mandatory to add a unique pan amount combination in part 2 for nil challenge statement okay if you don't have any challenge detail in part 1 you need to put challenge detail of you have to select one challenge and three distinct pan number okay against that particular challenge and their amount 
this you have to match in part one and part two. But what will you do if you don't have any uh, chalan, that is nil chalan you have or zero chalan amount in the statement? Then if it, if it is the case, then you have to select this checkbox. Otherwise, you just leave it. Going ahead with checkbox two, it is please select if the payment was done by book adjustment for government deductors. As we all are aware that in case of government uh, is the tax deductor, tax deductor, then they need not to pay uh, through the chalan. Then how they will fill this chalan detail? For them, it is uh, for they for them it is payment was done by book adjustment. So they need to select this checkbox. Okay. So I think uh, once you will select this, this is automatically. Uh, uh, disappear or something like that. Now, please select uh, enter a chalan with at least three distinct valid plan amount combinations corresponding to the statement mentioned above. In this statement, you select any plan number against which three plan three valid plans are available. Distinct valid plans are available. For let's say I have paid hundred rupees chalan. And this chalan was adjusted against three payments: uh, 20 rupees for pan number A, 30 rupees for pan number B, and 50 rupees for pan number C. So my 100 rupees will appear over here, here, BSR code, okay, date of payment of that those 100 rupees, chalan serial number of 100, those 100 rupee chalan, and the chalan amount that is obviously 100, okay. And the A, B, C, and their corresponding amount will appear on the part two. Well, once we go ahead and see how part two is to be filled, but before that, let's understand this statement fully. If you have the valid plan, then it's okay. If there is no such chalan, mention a chalan with at least two valid plan amount combination. If you don't have any chalan which has three valid plan numbers, then you can go ahead and select any one which has two at least two valid plan numbers. If this is also not the, not the case, then in that case you put at least one valid plan amount combination okay if you don't have any such chalan mention a chalan with no valid plan amount combination and also select this checkbox no valid plan deductive row in the plan detail section below okay this is the more important thing you have only one chalan in your edds return okay and uh, only one deductive was there or uh, only one deductive was there for which you have fill the wrong pan number or you have invalid pan number for deducting okay wrong pan number you have filled it then what you will do the your case will fall in last category if you don't have any such chalan mention a chalan with no valid pan amount combination okay and select the checkbox no valid pan in that case you need to put only the chalan details over here uh, like uh, 100 rupee chalan was there but against which no valid plan is there. In that case, I need to put only BSR code, date, chalan serial number, and the chalan amount of that 100 rupees. Okay. I need not to go uh, in that part two. Let's say it's the uh, part one. I have filled in. This is my provisional serial number. It is, uh, and this is a BSR code. This is the bank specific BSR code. If you are not able to find BSR code, then you can just see your ETDS chalan. Uh, from where you have paid the chalan amount, then you will find the bank uh, this BSR code. You type that code here, then the date of on which that this tax has deposited. Then chalan serial number this is also available on the chalan, the five digit number. If it is uh, 53, then you have to put 00053 to make it five digit and chalan amount. Obviously, uh, you should uh, make this uh, note this point that. After this uh, chalan amount has to be filled in with two decimal places, so it is 7875.00. Okay. Moving ahead with uh, part two, as we have discussed, three distinct PAN numbers we have to select against this chalan, and you have to put the uh, tax deposited against that those unique chalan. But there is no necessity that this amount should match with this. Okay. There may be hundred chalans, uh, hundred pair. Uh, PAN numbers against this particular chalan, but you need to put only three distinct chalan and their amount. Okay, hope this uh, and uh, the most important thing uh, if there is no valid PAN deductive rows corresponding to the chalan, that is, uh, if there is no valid PAN, then you have to select this checkbox in part two.
this we have left earlier now once you have done with that click on proceed and here is the authentication link for that particular day, day. now you can uh, use this uh, authentication code for all the reports which are for 26Q, financial year 1349Q2 for that particular day. Okay, if you want wish to download any other report for this particular uh, case that is 26Q, 1349Q2, like if you wish to download intimation, if you wish to download consolidated file, default summary, file correction, whatever you wish to do, you can just go ahead and put directly this authentication code. So once you have generated this authentication code, then it will help you to take the uh, what we can say uh, this will help you to take all the other reports in a, on a particular day going ahead this uh, request for justification report uh, is submitted and the number the request number is this the file will be available in downloads your request has been successfully uh, sent to the traces and after two hours or so you can just see in the download section download section go to requested downloads okay and either you put that request number over here or you can select the request date for that particular day for today we have made the request and select the request today's date to from and to both and click on go go once you will click on that, you will find that all the, all the files which you have asked for the uh, for downloading from the traces are available over here. Here the our, our last file is our justification report. Click on this and click on HTTP downloads. You can see it's getting downloaded. It's 3KB file. I uh, hope this tutorial will make sense for all the, who, those who wish to download the justification report against the default generated by the traces so thank you very much for your patience listening and watching to this amazing tutorial on live case of uh, putting your request of uh, justification report so if you like like this tutorial just come on and subscribe us on our this youtube channel at www.youtube.com slash you just click on the link coming in the right bottom side of this uh, video and just subscribe us if you would like to say thank you or have any queries on this uh, matter then you can just go ahead and put your queries on uh, to us on our facebook page that is www.facebook.com slash filing tds return online this, this page is all about solving your queries relating to edds and related to tds filing Another page is our www.facebook.com slash learn with Lodhas. Here you can put anything, any kind of practical query relating to taxation, accounting or anything of any subject uh, which you feel is uh, of finance field. Uh, you can just put and we will happy to help you out. So thank you very much for your all your support and your kind cooperation. Thank you.